Do, do, do. Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Making Comics and Art, episode 286. Um, let's see, let's see. I don't know. Stuff. Ooh. Lots of things going on. Um, <laughs> so Sorry, have, you caught me I up. Sorry, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, I was gonna say sorry. I had um, your live stream up, and it caught me off guard because you had an echo. So sorry. Go ahead with the intro. <laughs> oh yeah, I I didn't hear it on my end, but uh, oh. yeah, that that's what happened. Um, yeah, so we, you know, I'm just gonna continue to work on this piece. This is uh, for those that don't know. Um, inking a cover for Bio War. Um, it's one of the many links I have down in the video description box. Uh, it was funded. Um, oh, congratulations! So, yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, we have Fanta, we have Margo in the chat. Hello, hello, good morning, good morning. Um, and Doc and Mar is going to be working on one of her, her many monsters. You want to tell people about the project, personal project you got going on? Uh, well, um, I always seem to fail <laughs> at those 30 day <laughs> challenges. So, um, I'm just wanting to finish it. Like even I'm not going to give myself like that strict must one must be done every single day um thing because for some reason my brain rebels and like just absolute stubbornness kicks in where my body's like no denied shall not be done so <laughs> i'm just gonna um try and just do it no matter how long it takes even if it takes me into november just to finish it just to say i did it so where where are you currently with it then uh <laughs> day seven <laughs> day seven okay well you know yeah i'm if, i'm a bit know, behind you're not behind you're in your own timeline you know yep i'm on my <laughs> own schedule yeah like the current one yeah. is a plant girl and i've redrawn her quite a few times because i keep ending up with fairies but it's like i want a mandrake or a mushroom and I just can't seem to get the anatomy or anything right. So I've redrawn her quite a few times out of frustration. Well, I displayed uh, a bunch of them that you already did on the on the YouTube cover. Um, they're they're so good, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like you're so. Thank you. So I'm it's trying. not like you're cutting your corners or anything. Like you're really trying to do really nice pieces. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah. I am kind of lazy though. So I've been doing a lot of shortcuts with the shading and inking. I always get kind of curious what it would be like if I actually sat down and dedicated some time to an art piece instead of like... <laughs> being lazy about it <laughs> i'm so bad about that <laughs> mm, i wonder if i should uh, work on my the, uh, cover variant. Ooh, what's the cover variant thank you margo the this piece that i'm doing is a uh, exclusive cover for the project it's Ooh. it's like a um, uh, so sort of remember Seven Sword of Conan, the Mac black and white magazine from Marvel years and years ago. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the, the creator of this is, is Vic King and he's very inspired by, uh, that magazine. So this is mm -hmm. sort of his Conan. That's so lots, cool. lots of uh, um, yeah, lots of creatures and whatnots. 
Mm -hmm. That's so neat. Yeah, Trigun. Um, did you ever read that manga? Uh, um, which one? Trigun? <laughs> that one? <laughs> that one. Trigun. I said uh, <laughs> it must have logged out. But, um, <laughs> like, I, whenever I he did, have. like, uh, um, he does a lot of variant comics as well, but he, they're inside the comic cover. So if you take the comic books, like the cover sleeve off and you flip it open, um, he had redrawn the covers with like a whole bunch of weird, random, crazy characters or just goofy faces or something. Oh, cool. A little something extra. Yeah. Fantaz wants to share some links with you. French maybe on <laughs> Trump links with you. Um, I, other, other than opening up my other browser to get there, I'll have to do it afterwards. So next time, <laughs> next time, um, cause it, it, if I have too much going on, everything screeches to a halt, mm. uh, with my weak internet and not so powerful computer. Yeah. So I next time. Feeling. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't help. I that I'm sort of out of need. Mm -hmm. That is true. Okay. I'm trying to find like, I think I'm going to skip plant girl since I'm struggling with her and move on to the next monster and see if that helps. Yeah. Sometimes you need to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's why you know personally I like to have a couple of things going on. So exactly that. If I get stuck or if I'm just not inspired on a particular mm -hmm. thing, I could switch to something else, and so I'm just being productive at least. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So how have you been? Uh, well, you know, I, I got stuff going on, but uh, uh, doing the best I can, um, sort of in countdown mode and trying to figure out what I'm going to accomplish before I head out to Florida next month. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, just under a month I'll, I'll be in Florida. And I'll be there for two months, and then I'll be back home afterwards. So I don't want to. I don't want to do art, or at least any any sort of um, finished art while I'm away. Um, I might do some practicing, but I'm going to focus on writing a novel. Um, so. Awesome. That, that like not a graph like just a novel novel instead of a graphic novel yeah just a novel novel um it's something like i got into writing when i was in uh college and mm -hmm. you know being a big fan of stephen king it's like i always wanted to write a novel um and um i've attempted it a few times um, but you know, have have yet to succeed. But uh, I figure, you know, it's something I can I can work on and, and focus on because I'll I'll sort of have a lot of free time. Uh, but it is also something I can drop on a minute's notice because I'll be on call. Mm -hmm. Um, so. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. I already have an idea. Um, I'm not, you know, horror is not necessarily my first love, um, but I've read I've read so much horror, uh, and I have already have an idea of something I would, I'd love to work on. You know, I've, I've had a little bit of theater experience. Um, 
you know, sort of through through a, a friend of mine who's who was an actor. Um, so I've done off off Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I figured that would be a, a great environment to play with. Mm -hmm. You know, who's your biggest inspiration uh, in regards to writing? Um, Stephen King. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Dean Koontz personally. Like, I do like Stephen King, but Dean Koontz, yeah. he he can get I, your I've heart going at times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he and he just like you know he wakes up and writes a novel and goes to bed. Um, like he he writes so much, <laughs> it's insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has uh, so much work out there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know how these guys do it, but they're they're masters. Yeah, if I could um, have just even a little bit of their um work ethic, I would be so happy. I think you're pretty, you know, you you're pretty hardcore when you when you do stuff. <laughs> well, when when I'm actually doing stuff, the rest of the time I'm, as I said, like very lazy and don't accomplish very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we but then so again, it like, yeah, I don't want to like wanna... use depression as an excuse or anything. But like my um, like mine was a major depressive disorder and it's one of those ones where it's like oh i'm depressed and i'm sad no mine was one of the ones that makes you sleep for like three days in a row and you just mm. can't get up or do anything yeah um it's never a good state to get into no um, no it's not and i i kind of feel like i'm on my way out of it but it's been 10 years it's ridiculous i wish like it would just get out of my head and let me actually accomplish stuff because i used to have a great work ethic work ethic yeah the, you know the, more than anything else mental stuff can can definitely get you off track mm -hmm. and it's something you have, you have to you have to face it and deal with it and, you know, find a way to work with it. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is very, very true. Yeah, it's uh, like... So um, we're gonna put, I want I want to go through the comments and, and we'll, get, we'll yeah, get into a conversation. Uh, so Charles is here. Uh, Fanta says... Um, quick, quick. Can Dr. Moore tell us about her project? This is the first time meeting her. Yeah, if you want to give an overview of yourself, uh, um, um, yeah, you for people probably haven't heard of me. <laughs> yeah, it's like nobody <laughs> has heard of me because I I'm not active on pretty much any social media or anything. I pop in and out randomly every couple months or so. <laughs> Um, like I want to get better, um, but, uh, like I do have some projects I'm working on. One is a graphic novel. Uh, I've been practicing my anatomy and trying to figure out, um, environments. So I've been studying Blender so that I can model my world. Um, that way I can, I can yeah. cheat. Like it's not necessarily cheating, <laughs> right? Like I'm just using what's available for me yeah <laughs> uh um, do you know do you know paul Kijiji? do you know who? paul paul kajiji he's uh australian he's been on my channel a bunch of times he works in blender he did a, a, a comic book where he used a combination of traditional and blender and now Ooh. he's he's putting together um sort of like lessons in how to make a comic and blender. How do you spell um, his name? Like Kajinki? Kajiji. Uh, let's see if I get it right. C A G G I E? 
Is it Kijiji? Um, oh, I, I found to, him. Actually. Oh, okay. He's really cool. good. Okay. Yeah, I've been following a couple different people where they show, um, like, uh, well, I'm kind of really like Genshin Impact and how they have their uh, 2D render uh, texture with their characters. And then also, right. um, like, Arcane League of Legends is a big inspiration. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's people out there that already, like, did tutorials on how to get that effect in the rendering. You just make a skin, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, a, yeah, you got to make a player. render map and, like, a whole bunch of different lighting and... <laughs> Just to get the like ink outlines is kind of a crazy process all on its own, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited like thinking about actually getting my project done because I have my script. Oh, uh, thank you, Fantas, for subscribing. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by like a big red like square with my name on it. it says subscribed. Thank you. <laughs> um. But anyways, like I do have an outline done, but what I'm kind of going to do, because it's going to be a long story. It's uh, my detective story with the blind girl. Um, I I think oh, I showed right, it right. a little bit. Here, I'm going to pop up a picture. Yeah. Um, but it's a detective story, and the detective has um, a power where if he touches things, he can like see the objects past. And um, okay. that's how he solves crimes. Um, he uses that like, so he can backtrack to the origin. And um, this girl, she's pretty much blind. I have a picture of three of the characters right now. And I want to do it in this style. I might change it a little bit. But, um, oh, thank you, Margo. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so these are three characters. Yeah, I just saw that <laughs> pop up up there. Like, I have your sub or your um, live stream up on my other screen so I can kind of see what's going on. But, um, <laughs> I'm, I want to do just kind of like one arc of my story. Uh, it's going to be kind of a cliffhanger, but it's going to kind of feel like it could be an ending. That way, if I'm working on it and I get it done, if I feel like it doesn't have enough um, attention to it, I can move on to a different story instead of staying stuck in a story that like, I, I know I should focus on making stories for me um, and do an art for me. But it would be kind of nice to be creating something that other people would be interested in. You know? Right. But if, so, if you create something, like, the way I look at it is if I create something I like, then there's some sort of audience out there that, you know, will agree with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, so if I'm yeah, passionate I about it, then it, I'll make it. The best I can make it, you know. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm not, if somebody throws me something like a story I'm not interested in, then I'll do a half-assed job, and you know it won't be worth. Mm -hmm. it. But if it's something I'm passionate about, then then it will be, you know, to the best of my ability. Therefore, then you know, anybody mm -hmm. who is, is into it will appreciate the work I put into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, like I'm gonna put a lot of work into it and make it as good as I possibly can, um, but I have so many stories. I don't want to get dragged into a story for years and years um, when it's like I could do the first arc, feel good and done with it, and then move on to another story. But then, if a lot of people are into it and they want to know what happens, then I'd be more than willing to continue the story. But kind of like those poor artists, like um, where they get stuck for ten to fifteen years in a project, like Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, 
One Piece, they've been running for like 20 years and they haven't done anything else with their life. Right, but maybe that was their objective. Like some people just want to work on their one mm -hmm. epic story. Yeah. Um, uh, so in the chat, they're, they're wondering about Rex. Rex will be on my channel um, Thursday. I forget I forget what time we agree, agreed on, but uh, I'll set up the stream so people can, uh, you know, see upcoming streams on my channel. Really? Uh, eat the puppy. Eat the puppy. I don't know why they're barking. We got a lot of snow, so they're probably barking at, um, like, it falling off our roof and everything. Hello. Hi. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I need to be more active online. I want to be. Um, but I just get so antisocial at times. And... I'm not good at like um, communicating with people very well because I, I have a big mouth, I guess I could say. And there's times where I insult people because I have no filter and I don't believe in walking on glass, like to let people know right. things like straight to the point. And I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but I'm just going to tell you the truth and how it is. <laughs> <laughs> And that's gotten me in trouble quite a few times. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember you ever insulting me or <laughs> no, I've been pretty good um on social media because it's like it's like you start to type something and then it's like, oh no, hey, delete that. Like don't say anything if unless you have something nice to say. <laughs> that's, but that's real the, life the I best. get in trouble quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think everybody does sooner or later. Mm hmm Yeah. And then, um, like, another reason that I kind of don't get online as much as I want to or should is um, there's quite a few female artists or, like, people who are active, and they get a lot of negative attention. It's true. And mm, I, do, I, do I don't know. want that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I just it's, want to get you know, on I mean, it's, Yeah. It's, it's the whole social media and, and, and you know, like, I've, I've been fortunate. Like, you know, being a guy doesn't <laughs> protect you from anything, you know, like. No. Um, I, I have plenty of friends who, who've gotten essentially the online murdered, you know, uh, yeah. through crazy, crazy followers or whatever. And, and it's, it's insane. Like people just are anonymous and they, you know, say whatever they want and tear mm -hmm. people apart or tear them down. And, you know, it's not cool just because we don't know who you are. Or, you know, it's like whatever. Yeah. Um, I, like, I'm all for, like, the freedom of speech and everything, because I was in the military for a good number of years, so I'm all for everyone's rights and everything, but just because you have the right and the freedom of speech doesn't mean you have the freedom to be an asshole, part of my language. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, and, like, if I ever do start streaming or posting more i'm gonna like establish rules and uh, which i know will probably make people mad it's like i have i reserve every right to block people or delete their comments um yeah like i don't care it's just if you're gonna be here be nice or have constructive comments and criticisms but i don't need you on there co commenting about like my weight or um if I look like if dolled up or not. <laughs> right. Or like well, bringing you know, I, politics and stuff into things. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's you doing what you want. Like, you know, like there, there are people that definitely 
control the audience. Like I, I control my Facebook. Like, you know, if I don't like somebody comment that they, you know, dropped on my post, I delete it. You know, it's like my, my Facebook feed is not for arguing, arguing people, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's either an update on whatever work I'm, I'm doing or it's a, just a joke that I put up or whatever. Like, if, if you're interested in, in, in arguing with people, then take it to your own place, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, don't bring it into my realm. Like, I get enough, like, I deal with enough in real life. I don't need to deal with it <laughs> online as well. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think there's plenty of people that, that agree with that sentiment, you know. Mm -hmm. Life is life is short, you know, like, you know. Oh, just, yeah. You, you, could, you could spend all your time sort of trying to have a, a decent existence online, or you can just say, oh, the hell with it all. Like I have my opinion or, or point of view or whatever, and that's that. And like you know, mm -hmm. if you don't agree with me, fine. Or you know, uh, Mugger says, "Did you call her Haley? I have four furry muppets. One of mine is is named Haley. <laughs> I did call her Haley. <laughs> she's a uh, she's named after the comet, like Haley's comet. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. Her mother's name is Star, and Aww. her dad's name is Boots. Like, um, well, it's supposed to be Booties, like the constellation, but we just call him Boots. <laughs> um, and then her sister is Jupiter. Her one of her brothers was Sunshine, um, because when he was born, the sun was shining through the window. Walking on sun, Sunshine was on the radio, and he came feet first. <laughs> <laughs> And um, then Dude. his other sibling was Orion. Um, we usually try to name everything after like the cosmos. <laughs> like my um, my cat right now, his name is um, Admiral Fuzzy of the Cosmic Void. <laughs> oh goodness! Yeah, and then his sister's name is Shadow Ninja. Because she just hid yeah. all the time. She just does not want to be out in the world. She just likes to hide. So she's a ninja in the shadows. Because yeah. she likes to pounce out, grab you, and then go crazy and run away. Right. Right. And then yeah, we have you know, Groot like... and Rocket. <laughs> Groot and Rocket. Uh... Yep. It's like I know, I know a lot of people with Rocket. Like one of my cats is named Rocket. I, I it's it's the one I didn't name, but I felt it fit him. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, my youngest, I call Ripley. Originally, she was, um, you know, uh, <laughs> what I call it, Quinn, as in Holly Quinn. Oh. Um, because she's a, a tortoise shell. And if you know anything about, you know, typical mm -hmm. tortoise shell, like the sort of patches on their right side that don't match with their left side. Mm -hmm. uh, and it kind of looked like a, a Harley Quinn thing going on. Oh, so uh, cute. But <laughs> yeah, but it, I I don't know. Like I, I, after a while, I was like, eh, I, I want to call her Ripley. Like after, you know, from Alien. Mm-hmm. So, so I might just That's call her Ripley. <laughs> or, oh, Do you Ripley. notice that um Ripley. yeah? I had <laughs> Does your little guys tend to like take after their namesake? Like with their personality and their attitudes? Uh, sometimes. It it depends. Uh like uh my original <laughs> cat which is Taz, which is short for Tasmanian Devil. 
mm-hmm. um, he he gets into his moods. Like, you know, he he's no longer living with me, but um, you know, he's he's uh, at my ex's uh, brother's place now. Um, but uh, he. You know he'll sleep all day but then he he'll get into a playful mood and he'll tear up the house and you know <laughs> like a tasmanian devil <laughs> uh, my siamese cat which is uh clea which is short for cleopatra uh she is a princess you know she's sort of a loner mm-hmm. um and but you know, it's like she'll be out for hours. She loves being outside. Uh, then she'll come in, and the second she comes in, she wants all my attention. <laughs> so it's like, okay, <laughs> I'll say hello, hello. Yeah, like um, Groot and Rocket, for instance, they definitely take after their namesakes. Uh, Rocket is so smart, um, like. She, it's a girl, but she had fallen down and she had broken one of her limbs. So she has like anchors and pins in it. Um, And we've been trying to lock her into our yard. And so we've been trimming down or trimming a lot of our trees so she can't climb them and get up up on the roof. Um, We've been doing a whole bunch of things to just try and keep her safe. But she keeps figuring out, she keeps outsmarting us. (laughs) <laughs> so she's she's so crazy stupid smart um and she yells at us a lot like just in her cat language you can tell she's mad at us and she's like i will steal oh, your yeah. foot or your leg if you keep bothering me the way you are <laughs> <laughs> and then groot he's like the teenage um groot right now where it's just a lot of attitude oh, and just yeah. does not want to listen to you That's that's like that's like Ripley. Like you think she'd be the sweetest one, and she is a lot of the times. Uh, but she is she is getting into a rhythm of she's talking more and uh, yelling at me. Like I figured it out though, because Rocket goes out a lot, and that's that's her like bed buddy. Like they, mm-hmm. they fall asleep right on top of each other. Oh. Um, and if he, he's outside and she's like, Hey, where's Rocket? Like, she'll start yelling at me. So <laughs> to go to the front door and open it up and see if he's out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty hilarious. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's just so many of them. Uh, 13 is too much. <laughs> it, it is. I feel like well, a rescue at this had, point. Yeah, she, she had a uh, 13. Uh, what was it? It was five kittens, but still. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it is quite Cats are a great, lot. Right? <laughs> But that that many is you know I I can barely handle three at times like you know like I was a little late to uh, starting the stream because I was corralling them you know I put two <laughs> of them outside they did want to go outside but it was just like getting everybody situated at pace mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah like um I. I really don't want to have this many. I would like to put up a quite a few of them for adoption because I know they would get um, better attention and stuff that way. But um, they're kind of my mom's comfort right now. Right. Because um, like she was my dad's caregiver for so many years that um, she need something to keep herself occupied with. Right. So all the animals are her um, comfort. (laughs) 
Uh, she she just needs a goat. <laughs> yeah, she's going to Hawaii yeah. in December, so we're getting her out of town. But then I'm responsible for taking care of everybody while oh, she's gone. <laughs> oh boy, well, that's nice, Hawaii. And you know, mm -hmm. I've never been outside the states, but um, Hawaii seems like such a, a nice place. Nice, but uh, very expensive. Uh, is it? Yeah. I, um, I like a a... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, this, this is the way. I had a friend who was uh, did murals. Um, and he was living in New York. You know, I was in New York at the time. And he was like, I'm going to move to Hawaii and, and, uh, and live in a tent on the beach. I was like, okay, and he actually didn't <laughs> went went there oh, wow. and, and did exactly that. I think for only a year or two, but but mm -hmm. uh, just to to pick up and and go do something like that that's pretty crazy. But uh, he said he had a good time. That would be so amazing. I've wanted to just go on road trips all the way across America and just um, live the van life. I guess is what they call it nowadays. Right, but um, <laughs> that's got to be expensive though, because you got to maintain um, your vehicle. You've got to like, unless you're actually cooking your food in your vehicle, fast food is very um, expensive. Well, and then you probably, um, you probably wouldn't do fast food if you're doing a van life. Uh, mm -hmm. I was watching a video not too long ago. It wasn't. It wasn't a van. It was like a, a an old uh, RV that a, a girl bought and sort of tricked out a little bit, and and that's what she was living in. And she's like, "This is all the space I need. I have all these compartments. Blah blah blah. You know, I have a shower. I have food. You know, I have storage everywhere. And yeah, I couldn't do that." It's like I need a stable place that doesn't move. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Fanta says, my dog's name is Poot. That's such a cute <laughs> name. <laughs> Does he fart a lot? Because <laughs> <laughs> when you hear a name like that, it's like Poot, 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 just walking around making pooting sounds. <laughs> We have donut in the chat. Hello, donut. Welcome, welcome. Um, Margo says Millie, um, short for Melissa Fint, and she was up to her name. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Invite a dragon into your house. And donut was asking who, who's in the panel with me. And that's Dog and Mar. Uh, I put your your Instagram link uh, in the video description box. The so, so people can go there. Uh, on your Instagram is your YouTube link. If you're ever going mm -hmm. to YouTube again, uh, people can yeah. check out your past videos. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about live streaming because then um, it'll be like I'm reporting to work, and maybe I'll be a lot more productive if I do that. Right. Um, you know, Karen, remember Karen from D100s? Yeah. Bonfiglio? Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, you know, she streamed a lot. Uh, she hasn't for a while or, you know, maybe a month or two ago I saw her streaming, but um, not as regular as she was once. But uh, she just, like, work. Like, she would turn on, you know, the stream and just work on her project. And she really wasn't worried about talking so much. You know, people would show up in the chat and, you know, maybe something would start up. But she wasn't like, that wasn't the main reason she was doing it. She was just sort of, yeah, showing showing that she was working every day. And, and that's what got her into a groove. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't have to put on a, 
you know, a horse and pony show every time. Mm -hmm. Like a big giant <laughs> production. Yeah, yeah. It's like I'm I'm not a high end YouTuber. I just sort of work on whatever I'm on and chit chat by mm -hmm. myself or with other people. You know, it's not a this isn't a cable show. <laughs> <laughs> like you get what you see. Yep. Yeah, my stuff would be very low production value. But um, I've been thinking about doing a VTuber. I was studying that for a while. Um, have you seen how much you can make off of making a VTube model? VTube, what's that? Yeah, a virtual YouTuber. Uh, they use 2D uh, or 3D models that are like screen capturing your face and putting it on screen. I uh, no clue. I mean, I understand kind of what it is, but mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. Where where would you find something um, like that? Well, there are a lot on Twitch, and then um, one that I kind of like just because her model is very good. Her name is Shy Lily. Um, she pops up on YouTube once in a while, and. Um, here, I'm going to pull up a picture real quick for you so you can kind of see what it is. But they, um, like this is, I don't know which screen you're looking at. Are you in the stream yard or are you yeah. on? Um, I, I see a bunch of pictures of a girl. Yeah, yeah she's like an orca. She's a orca cat. <laughs> okay. like she's a cat yeah. with an orca. But um, her model is very pretty. <laughs> But they do um, screen capture, and um, it replicates your face and your expressions. I got but, it. Yeah, I here's a bunch of different know. ones. I don't know. I loved, I, back in the day, I loved Max Headroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that that's kind of sort of that, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I don't. You know, it's like I hate when people use sort of the robot voice instead of their own voice. Like, yeah, if it's not the actual person, then then it's not really something I'm into. Like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, they're pretty good about um, doing actual. They do voice change a little bit, but they're pretty good about having um, human sound or human sounding voices. Um. And some I of them mean, do uh, face reveals, so you know exactly what they look like and stuff. Right. But I'm um, sure, like, I mean, like anything, if they're interesting, then then maybe I get into it. But like, I mean, mostly I what I follow are artists or writers or, you know, anything about mm -hmm. movies or shows or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Some of them are cool, and some of them are annoying. <laughs> yeah. Um. But since I don't really like showing my face, I was kind of thinking about using that as an option um, instead of right, having right. video cam and stuff. And But I wouldn't be, I would try my best not to be one of the annoying VTubers. At least I hope I'm not annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, one model. Really hard not to be annoying. I know. <laughs> Just don't go full on girly or anything like that. Like, oh, oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, one model, uh, like the Shy Lily model, like the Orca cat I was kind of showing you, cost eight thousand right. dollars. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I'm not yeah, doing that it, anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, and um, well, I'm gonna make my own. I'm learning the program and stuff. Right. right but right. um. If you open up for commissions and everything, they'll pay you eight thousand dollars to make a model like that, and it's just like um, facial expressions, some accessories, and then the body can kind of wiggle and move with physics. Right. It does take a long time yeah. because you're working from a two D image and you're manipulating it to look three D. Right. But um, yeah. 
you could get one model done, say, two weeks to a month, and that's $8,000 in one month. Yeah. I was like, man, that would be kind of a good job. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, you know, as far as online stuff, there's always people looking for certain things, even even just avatars or, or um, emojis. Like, people, a lot of people are huge into emojis, like having, you know, specifically design emojis or, or whatever like for mm -hmm. discord and other things like where you can use a unique set yeah oh um, um i think those are called streaming assets right is that what those are perhaps. assets i think asset I sounds right yeah I have no idea. I am such a like a noob when it comes to technology or anything. <laughs> you don't say. I mean, like all you use is technology. <laughs> like you know. I know. See on top of it. <laughs> I, I don't try. Address. My dog's <laughs> name is Sasha. Not as cute as Poot. <laughs> yeah. I still haven't been told if Poot walks around farting all the time. <laughs> yeah. Like, I am really curious and what kind of dog it is. Because it sounds like a name that would be given to, like, one of those little bulldogs or um, uh, a pug or something. Yeah, kind pug. Of. It sounds like. <laughs> Fanta says, I had a Sasha when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to design emojis, says Margot. That sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, people, you know, like non non artists who are streamers, like maybe they stream playing video games or whatever, they're always looking for the community, like to give the community something extra to play with you know mm -hmm. and uh yeah um i think eric has you know eric that we know mm -hmm. has done a bunch of that i could be i could be wrong but you know he's more gamer than i think we are <laughs> yeah yeah he is a pretty big gamer. Um, he is also currently doing artwork for a um, a music video, I believe, for one of his buddies. Uh, yeah. um, he's in a for, uh, band, like a hard rock meta metal band. Oh, yeah. He, uh, Black something? Oh, gosh. Bog? What was it? Maybe. I, I feel like a bad friend. What was it? Yeah, it sounds like a bog or something. Yeah. But yeah, he I he's yeah, but, I've listened to a couple of his music and it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna use uh, one of his songs as intro, but I know you know it's like I was into ed video editing years ago, mm -hmm. but then I lost the, the Windows editing program and that was the easiest to work with and everything else is super complicated. It's, mm -hmm. I was into editing for a little bit because um, it's fun, but these programs are so multi-layered and complicated and in a good way because you could do a lot with it. But to me, I just want something simple that I can do, blah, 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 push this here, push that there, you know? Yeah. Um, when I, I was in... <laughs> yeah, when I, I was know. in college, I learned a whole bunch of editing because I was going for um like media arts and animation and they were teaching us a lot of video editing so we can learn how to animate with it but those right. programs are so expensive like it was premiere pro and um photoshop or adobe after effects right and um it's just so expensive but have you heard of uh da vinci yeah, I I have Da Vinci. I played with it a little bit, but it it's so yeah, it's 
it's it's not easy to work with it's oh it's, it's not like, no it, it, you know i mean it, it it has the capability to do everything mm -hmm. but you really have to learn the whole program and i'm not too much into i want something simple and straightforward oh so it's not very like enemy. beginner friendly no no because it's like I want to do the most basic things, and yeah, it's complicated. Mm hmm Yeah, I've been um. My sister and I, we really want to start kind of doing YouTube videos, where but um, like a kind of a mesh up of a bunch of things, uh, like drawing, but then doing crafts or um. Like my sister wants to tell horror stories or like those scary mm -hmm. um, real life experience stories. Right, right. Um, um, you know, Didi. Creepy pastas. Didi. Uh, Didi uh, is it Willingham? Um, like she she does art and crafts and and art supplies and different things like. You never know what you're going to get when you turn her on. Um, but she she's really good and she's got a huge following. I think I think she's both on Twitch and on YouTube and always has. I, I was watching her for a couple of minutes earlier and she, I think she had a hundred people watching her. Mm-hmm. Um, because she, you know, she's very dedicated to it, and she's always, always streaming, always posting, always, you know. <clears throat> Unlike me, I'm, I'm completely random. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I was kind of thinking, like, if I was to do it, um, I would make it like at a certain amount of time each day. That way, I could make sure I showing up to work. Um, yeah. That way I was being held responsible for what I do. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, you can get, get into a habit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it would be nice uh, to like, have people pop up and talk. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, you have to... It's like we have people in the chat popping in and, and adding to the conversation. Um, but you know, you can, you can have, if you're, if your internet and computer are strong enough, you can have like, you know, with StreamYard up to 10 people, I think, um, mm -hmm. after, after three, it gets sketchy for me because <laughs> yeah. everything starts falling down. It's ridiculous. Um, so Marco says, I love that you ink and brush could watch you all, all day. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, it is fun um, watching you, uh, you ink. Uh, Ross made several Jack Sparrow emoji looking things and they are super, super cute. I guess that's a uh, content creator. <laughs> Ross, uh, Bruce. Ross? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know who. Like Ross, Ross is, draws but... Ross, or um, <laughs> no, it wouldn't be Ross draws because he just draws girls. It could be a female Jack Sparrow, right? <laughs> True. <laughs> what is Brett Marco <laughs> instead of Ben? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. L-M-A-A-O uh, I thought you meant to the program she was using Margo I'm sorry my head is slow today <laughs> yeah. and uh, 
I have heard of creepy pasta. It was mentioned on a true crime channel. Yeah, Slender Man. Of... <laughs> um, I've heard of creepy pasta. I've heard of Slender Man. What's creepy pasta? <laughs> um, I don't know why they call it creepy pasta. To be honest, but um, it's just a bunch of oh, made a up channel. scary stories. Ah. Um, and people just and they try to make it seem like it's real, so they'll write it as like in first person or as a journal or as a past experience. And um, people will, some people, they uh, really <laughs> feel that it is real, kind of like Slender Man right. or um, the Black Eyed Kids, um, Mothman. I think well, Mothman's more of a cryptid. Kind of like, right. um, like there's a there's cryptids and then there's creepy pasta. Like creepy pasta is absolutely completely one thousand percent made up, um, but then cryptids, it's like has so many people like telling kind of the same story. It could be real, right? Right. I think. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Kind of like. Um, the, uh, oh, what are they? Like the missing 42? Or, uh, is it 42? 407? But, like, there's a bunch of people disappearing in um, national parks right now. And they think it's, like, um, cryptids getting them. Kind of like the trolls that come to life in mountains. If Because um, they're all disappearing around rock slides. And they all had like some health problems and dried riverbeds. So if you're wandering around in national parks and you're not, then you have some sort of underlying health problem. Don't go near um, rock slides or like dried riverbeds or anything because you'll disappear and never be found again. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but very, very scary. Yeah. <laughs> But I kind of like stuff like that. Um, it's a good distraction. But some of it, um, like the skinwalkers. Oof. Have you heard about the skinwalkers? Um, are they vampires? <laughs> no. Um, it's, there's this ranch. Uh, I don't exactly remember where. But it's built on an Indian burial ground. And so okay. they get a lot of very weird occurrences, like wolves that aren't quite wolves. Um, and uh, their cattle are being mutilated. Uh, it's just very creepy, the events that are happening, because they have, like, orbs that show up, um, like, just random floating orbs. It. It's kind of a cool right. thing to listen to when you're drawing because I listen to a lot of podcasts whenever I'm <laughs> studying and just goofing, goofing off and stuff. All right, all right. But yeah, Skinwalker Ranch is really creepy. That's crazy. Yeah, if you're, yeah, it's called Skinwalker Ranch, but there's another name for it. But yeah, if you're easily scared, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get, don't go see it or anything. But um, I can easily detach from stuff like that, which is kind of sad to say because some of these stories do involve real people. Right. Um, uh, so, so it's not a good. What thing. Donut was talking about, talking about before, R O S is pronounced Rose. Oh. Uh, Donut Donut says uh, she's. Super shy, too shy to po post her art. Sadly, yeah. Okay. Aww. And uh, Rose is a, a friend of ours, lovely lady. Uh, she's a great person in the community. Um, quick, quick. She's an artist that doesn't do her own YouTube. Okay. Creepy, creepy pasta used to be so popular. It says donut. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's not as popular. I wouldn't recommend it. If you're easily scared. <laughs> uh, Rose is Swedish. And uh, mm -hmm. Fanta says Skinwalker Ranch, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's right next to George Lucas Ranch, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'm uh, just kidding. I like. Mm, maybe, maybe. <laughs> George Lucas Ranch is in uh, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> like um, the the Star Wars land in there that could definitely be a George Lucas Ranch. <laughs> Well, the ranch is like, uh, from times I've seen it uh, on videos and stuff, like he has a lot of Star Wars art all throughout the hallways and stuff. It's like pretty mm -hmm. amazing. Oh, cool. Uh, just, just the idea of like a ranch that's sort of a studio, like, sounds like so much fun. Mm-hmm. Be able to go in their warehouses and see all the old props and what they do with them. Yeah. You know, like I I've don't seen know some of them for actually... sale, but. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anybody. I don't know what's happening there currently, but. Uh... I imagine it's fun. Mm hmm. Yep. Uh, I feel like I'm getting too detailed again. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to spotlight you so we can check out what you're working on better. Just a tentacly octopus girl. <laughs> Here. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Okay, she's got six limbs. I need to squeeze two more in there. To make it authentic. Yeah. Like, I'm already kind of cheating. <laughs> I hid one of her arms behind her. <laughs> All right. I don't feel like dealing with that today. I might go back and put it in somewhere or do one. But it's like, she's got eight more I'm dealing with. <laughs> Dennis says, I love the way you're making the tentacles. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oops. So you do, do, you, do you already know, like, what colors you're going to make her? Or? Um... What I've been doing is getting online and typing in, um, like, just keywords for color palettes. So right. I've been slightly cheating so that I can get colors that look good together. Um, <laughs> it's not cheating. Because sometimes... Everything's cheating. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm not cheating. I'm just using what's available to me. <laughs> Right. But uh yeah, that way the colors are more cohesive. Uh I think probably what yeah. I'll do with her cuz I do want to give her a bit of an um fantasy look. Mm. What's your favorite color? Uh, I mean, go to color red. I don't know if red would work with that, but uh, let's see here. Red color palette. I I really Whoa. love blue, but my mm -hmm. my my childhood room was colored in blue. Uh, and one of my older brothers took it over for a year, and he got his friend to paint 
sort of like remember like 70s design like stripes there was like various different blue stripes growing throughout all the walls like mm -hmm. as a sort of like a racetrack sometimes it would loop into a circle sometimes it would just go diagonally down but it was like all all the walls were, were covered with these various blue lines <laughs> and uh after after a while it was like everything's blue in here it's depressing <laughs> oh hey um do you have moderators uh no somebody said bye I, I don't see the yeah like look up above charles's um thing i don't see it uh it's I like sexfine.pro yeah it's like where charles is um it's like towards the bottom it's not oh wait wait uh, it's got a big like a red no, heart next to it it's not showing up for me for some reason ah charles margo you guys got like the wrenches do something <laughs> uh, are they moderators I don't know. Um, I mean, I have a lot of moderators. I don't know if anybody in the chat is a moderator. It should be. Um, you could flag it. But even if you're just a, a, a typical, you do have mods. People with wrenches are, are your mods. Oh, uh, Ella. I wonder why uh, only a couple can see it. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, Dana says nothing should up from mine either. I don't, yeah, I don't see it. And typically, I do. So... Unless they, they, uh, we did, I think I did. <laughs> Margo says, <laughs> okay, Margo got it. Margo's on the job. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's not showing up for me. Somebody, somebody clocked it before I saw it. That is just so weird. Yeah, how is that? I was getting them for a while. I was getting them every, every stream I did. I, there would be bots showing up and I'd, you know, flag them and, but it's been a, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. So welcome bots. Please give me a like, subscribe to my yeah. channel. <laughs> oh, I get so many bots on my Instagram. It's ridiculous. Oh, Instagram is like, and they're strange bots because they, they tag you and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, as well as they drop. Oh, this is a great picture share it with blah 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 and that's i i delete all that crap mm -hmm. it's like screw you yeah you're not trying to help me you're just trying to you know help yourself your disease <laughs> yeah okay i i got a couple different color palettes that i think would work um chat was re yeah. recommending like purples and pinks and I kind of agree. So it's between blue and red, between your two favorite colors. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think. Um, yeah, Margo says uh, purple and black. Mm -hmm. Purple and pink, says Charles. Yeah, and then I'll probably throw in some colors from the desert one, like the oranges and the peaches to kind of throw it off just a little bit for a complementary color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen? I don't. I don't know if you if you liked sort of the uh, what we what would you call it the second generation Disney animated movies like the Little Mermaid and mm -hmm. Beauty and the Beast and you know Hercules and that sort of stuff. You know yeah. the fact that Disney is doing all these live action variations on it. I don't I'm like not it. Really I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm not really excited about any of them. Uh, and I, you know, it's like, I was curious about the, the Little Mermaid, but then I, I watched the trailer and I was like, nah. <laughs> it's, it looks I so drab and dull. Yeah, it looks yeah. drab and dull. Her tail looks pretty, <laughs> but um, like, it doesn't look underwater. Uh, like, if you compare it to, um, like uh aquaman's movie 
right. like all yeah. the water particles and the weird depth perception. Right. Uh, Mermaid just looks flat. Yeah. Um, like there's just no life to the water. I think also the only um, live action I have seen all the way through was the Jungle Book. But um, other than that, I'm all trying. of them just the characters seem like dead in their eyes. It's like the uncanny valley <laughs> type thing. They just have no emotion or soul. And it's just a retelling yeah. of the story. It's it's kind of saying they have no new ideas. And so they're just trying to milk things that they know people liked. Yeah. it It's not necessarily that they're, they don't have any new ideas. It's, it's the suits and them getting dependable money coming in because mm -hmm. you know you know it's guaranteed to make money you know um <laughs> yeah Margaret says hercules animated is one of my favorites i sing along there you mm -hmm. go yeah all, all of them had cute songs yeah definitely um but i i love the yeah. diverse animation styles and, and and the quality of animation and i mean that's what got me into it you know the fact that the the live action is not animated i could care less you know <laughs> mm -hmm. um i i thought i thought the new version of it wasn't live action it was cgi version of the lion king i mean that was a a phenomenal step into what you can do in CGI, but mm -hmm. I thought I tried to watch it, and like after ten minutes, I was like, I can't watch this. This is this is crap because it's just so stiff, and yeah, it doesn't have any the animation bounce to it. And yeah, like there's no life to the characters. Yeah. Um, and they look realistic, kind of, sort of. But that's boring. Like that's not why you watch, you know. Animation. Yeah, yeah. I was never also a fan of um like the seconds, like Aladdin two, Little Mermaid two. Um, oh yeah, Frozen two was pretty good. Video. But um, <laughs> yeah, all the second movies just yeah. always kind of sucked because the quality would go down and the storytelling wouldn't be as good. Um, the animation production level would drop. Yeah, it wasn't the same animators or the budget or anything. It was just like, we made a thing. Here's a sequel, kind of, sort of, just so mm -hmm. we can make like, more money. Like, while it's popular, let's try and milk the wagon a little bit more and get some more money out yeah. of it while people are still yeah. willing to pay for it. Yeah, because, you know, lots of parents would throw in tapes in, into, the, you know, kids – to babysit the kids, you know, essentially. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, raise their kids on um, TV. Yep. You know, yeah, <laughs> when I was living fan. at home, I had, had one TV, you know, like kids today, they have internet, they have their own phones, they have uh, multiple TVs or huge mm -hmm. widescreen TV. <laughs> Yeah, like when growing up, I had one TV. We didn't have cable. Like cable was available, but we didn't have it. We had this um, big rabbit ear um, antenna that was outside our house. And we would have to go outside <laughs> and yeah. grab it by the big pole and turn it to get better reception. Yeah. <laughs> and I think yeah. we only had maybe three channels, like ABC, PBS, um, and something else. But um, whenever we would go to our friends' houses and, like, all the kids had um, multiple TVs or gaming systems or, like, cable, we're like, what is this magic? Because <laughs> we didn't have that. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, T like, TV itself, just regular TV has changed, like, where you can't, you know, you can't hook up an old TV anymore. Like, you know, they, all, mm -hmm. they don't work. Yeah, we Single did have a. Um, yeah, we used to have a big TV uh, that was from the '90s that my mom and dad had. It still worked really well, um, and it had a VHS built into it. It was super thick, 
<laughs> I forget how yeah. thick TVs used to be with all these thin screens now. Oh, um, yeah. But it was a super thick TV. And, like, I am thankful that it's uh, a thick TV because my dad, he liked to quick draw against his Western movies. Um, right. And when he was sick, he forgot that um, the gun he had was loaded. And so he quick drew right. against the TV. I think it was either John Wayne or um, some other like Clint Eastwood movie or something. And he shot the TV. Right. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. It scared the hell out of us. I bet. <laughs> but the TV was so big and thick, it stopped the bullet. And, uh, but the scary thing is my mom and I was on the other side of that wall in the other room. Right. And we're like, oh, thank goodness for this thick TV stopping this bullet. Because what would have happened if it went through the wall and both of us are on this other side? Yeah. That but my dad's expression after he shot the TV was hilarious. <laughs> um. Like you could just see, like, oh, I screwed up. <laughs> no. But yeah, I I wish Disney would stop and slow down and not I make don't think so, so many. I don't think so. Like Disney is so big at this point that they they're just a machine. Like I I you know, I worked for Marvel back in the in nineties when they were doing, I don't know, 60, 70, maybe more books a month. Mm -hmm. It's a machine. When a company gets so big, it's a machine. And yeah. that's, you know, th there's quality in that machine. There is passion in that machine, but guaranteed we'll get all the crap too. Guaranteed, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Uh, and now uh, that the they own get, Marvel, Fox, they own, they own like aren't they supposed to Hulu, not have a monopoly Disney, like that? Every, Is, aren't they breaking the law? Um well Marvel, I mean Disney can't buy like say uh Warner Brothers AT and T, you know, <laughs> like that but that would own, be a me mega corp. Yeah, but they own Marvel now, they own um Star Wars. Everything under the Star yeah. Wars thing, Sony. Um, I think they just bought out DreamWorks, um, and they bought out another one. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like well, they're DreamWorks. buying such big companies. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's how big companies work. Like for them to continue, they have to gr keep growing. Mm-hmm. And after after a certain point, like to to not be a monopoly, they have to grow sideways. So pick, you know, buying all these, in a sense, little companies keeps them afloat because yeah. they, they gotta <laughs> always look look like they're improving and making more money. And the only way to do that is to you know do all that corporate stuff mm -hmm. um you know i'm no expert you know my company is one person big so <laughs> <laughs> me myself and i me myself and i well my, my cats you know they assist once in a while mm -hmm. <laughs> they get me coffee yeah they're emotional support <laughs> <laughs> Um, but we, we've been going over an hour. Um, oh. let me, let me get to the, the comments. So Margo was saying about Lion King, Lion King stage play, Lion King on ice, now Lion King live action. Yeah. It's like, yeah. The, Lion King live action has been they'll, out for a while. They'll put it into every form they can. And, you know, they'll try it everywhere. Lion mm -hmm. King. King the, the comic book, Lion King the novel, whatever, you know, whatever. They just need the video <laughs> game now. Yeah, 
um, they'd probably have that too. Like, you know, with all the sort of phone video games, I'm sure there's a Lion King something or another. Uh, it's not yeah. live action. It was made CGI. Yeah. Don't understand <laughs> it at all. Margo's in the <laughs> comments making fun of Amber Heard. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, That's what the that. um, she's uh, the have... worst was about. Oh, okay. Um, I loved Aquaman, the movie. Like, you know, for those that don't know, like what I'm most famous for working on was Aqu Aquaman back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. So I was l always looking forward to an Aquaman movie for years and years. And I don't know if you ever watched um, uh, Entourage. It was an HBO show, but in Entourage, there was a, there was, they were, they had an Aquaman movie and, you know, it was a fake Aquaman movie, but the director mm -hmm. of that fake Aquaman movie was James Cameron. So it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have seen um, Entourage. I just pulled it up to see like if I recognize the poster or anything. Oh, it was, it was I good, you know. It, it's not for kids; it's adult, you know, nudity mm -hmm. and cursing. Um, but uh, I thought it was a great show. You know, it's like this actor and all his friends that that you know sort of hover mm -hmm. around him. Um, but yeah, I always thought it was hilarious that you know in that show they were talking about making an Aquaman movie, and you know the. The actor in there was going to be the main star, of course, Aquaman. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jason Momoa is like such a good actor. He did, he was amazing with Aquaman. Um, there's also a new show yeah. that he's in. Uh, what's it called? C. Oh, C. Yeah. I started watching it. It's, I have to kind of pirate it. No one tell anybody. Uh, because I don't have Apple right. TV. <laughs> but the beginning that I have seen, wow. I, it, I'm i curious about it. I, ha I haven't gotten to it yet. I watch way too much. And, and I'm watching... What am I watching? I'm watching Vikings right now. Oh, Vikings uh, is good. I which, think I've seen the first two seasons of that. Yeah, it, it's... It's really good. You know, it's like I, I watch new stuff too, but um, that's my current, not current show. But um, mm -hmm. you watching the new Game of Thrones, House House of Dragons? Um, I'm trying to. Like, I'm a big um, Tolkien fan and I love all the movies. But for some reason, <sighs> like the TV show, it's kind of meh for me. I need to watch it, though. Um, well, that, oh, hey, the, that's Game of Thrones. That's not. Oh, there we go. Another bot. I can get this one. I see this one. Uh, come on, click, click, click. You are blocked. <gasps> Stargate Atlantis. Oh, oh my goodness, Margo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like oh, somebody got somebody got the bots, or maybe bots. just my one. Friend. Yeah. Jason was in Stargate Atlantis. Really? Probably. Now I'm on like <laughs> search. <he's> in it. <laughs> yeah, it's like search, but Stargate is he was in it. Oh, I forgot that that was Jason Momoa. That's right. Have you seen the, the Stargate series? I watched it back in the day, but I, I, I didn't like I love the Stargate movie and I watched a lot of the regular Stargate show. I watched some of Atlantis, but I really didn't follow it. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, it was okay. It just didn't grab me to like really dig into another yet another branch of a franchise. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think so I ever don't saw understand. Origins or Infinity. 
Yeah, it's like it's like that's the that's the thing with franchises. It's like I love the franchise, but then there's all these different branches, and I got to keep up with all this different shows and blah blah blah. I just want to watch one thing, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and um, trying to keep up with all the like other arcs or other series. Yeah, it gets confusing at times. You know, definitely. Uh, so Dutter was saying, I love Jason Miller, so I hate how she ruined that, but I love Jason as Aquaman. Yay, he's a really good Aquaman. You know, like the movie was amazing in so many ways, and I, I liked her in it, but I. I, I personally hate the whole drama that she was a part of that kind of ruins things. And I'm not sure if she's in Aquaman 2 or how they. I think she was DC supposed to, but that, they're having that. to like change everything because I think all her scenes were already recorded. Yeah. But they're having well, to change we'll it now. I, I will watch, you know. And the second movie, um, and hopefully they didn't ruin it. You know, there's there's more there's more crap online about Ezra who plays Flash, and oh, that guy is crazy. Yeah, and I don't think they're I don't think they're taking him out of the Flash movie. At least the first, you know, the first one that this can be. I think they might find another actor for the second one, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Yeah, it'd yeah, be a waste if they already have it all filmed and stuff. Well, they could do it. I mean, what was that? What was that movie about the richest man uh, in the world at the time? This is back in the fifties. I think it was called Dollar the richest man? man in the world. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the heart. I think it was called <laughs> the richest man in the world, and they used they used the the actor what's his face from House of Cards and everything else. Oh. Um, and they they took him out of the film. They film refilmed all his scenes with another actor. And I saw the movie, and I thought it was fine. Like it, it didn't seem affected by it. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, I was I was a big fan of House of Cards, and the last season turned to crap, but. Isn't that how it usually yeah. is? Like the last season just well, sucks. Like well, Lost because... did that. Lord of, or Game of Thrones did that. Um... Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, a lot of shows like because you know Stephen King is a, is a good example. Like endings are hard. Like mm -hmm. to end something on a good note is the hardest thing in the world. Um, Game of Thrones fell apart because there's no book reference anymore like it hasn't been written yet so they made up stuff and you know fans didn't like it mm -hmm. um you know what i thought i thought lost was fantastic until the end yeah it sort of went in a weird direction i thought they should have kept with the scientific stuff mm -hmm. that was interesting you know and it, when yeah, it's this weird path, weird. But... Oh, speaking of like <laughs> super edited stuff, um, did you prefer Justice League, the theatrical release, or the um, Zack Snyder cut? I I I enjoyed both. I think the the Zack Snyder was uh, better, except for the last two scenes. Mm hmm. Um, I thought that was just like fan service extra stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, I didn't care about the the dream sequence with Batman before. Why would I care about another dream sequence with? I don't care if it was the ultimate face off between him and Joker. To me, it did nothing. Yeah, um, and it's just weird that they would end it like. They just jumped into the cut where it's like Superman's all of a sudden bad and taking over the world. But it's like you didn't tell the story. You're just showing a premonition. And that's just leaving everyone hanging. If they're not into the comics, they're not going to understand this arc at all. 
I mean, it would have made more sense if you just had like Bruce Wayne waking up and was like, oh, the whole thing was a dream. Like yeah. <laughs> the whole movie was a dream. <laughs> yeah, just the fear of what's going to happen and stuff. It was, uh, yeah, it was know, such it was a weird stupid. ending. <laughs> you know, I, I totally believe that was just fan service. It was just like, he wants to, you know, because it was so many millions more to, to add extra scenes that he did want, you know, and, and, the, and the quality of the CGI was improved. And the fact mm -hmm. that, you know, he had the extra big bad villain in it, um, you know, a lot of it worked much better. Um, and I yeah. like the, the cyborg extra, you know, scenes we got with him, fleshed yeah, out the character cool. better. Uh, they got rid of all the joke stuff, which was idiotic, you know, and trying to be like Marvel or whatever. Yeah, that's what I kind of felt, too, is like with them trying to be more comedic. I did appreciate it because it was kind of fun. But you could tell they were trying to write off of Marvel's coattails by throwing in more comedy into it. But then they're too actually, dark in like the other movies, though. They need to be more like the animated shows. <laughs> yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, I mean, you know, like it, it it's it's kind of silly that, you know, like to express it in such terms, like Oh, Marvel movies are funny and DC movies are dark, but but they are. That's what DC and... stands for is dark. <laughs> <laughs> DC <Kinda>. stands for dark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I like the Zack, Zack Snyder cut. Um, I mean, frankly, like, you know, he he invented the whole DC universe, um, mm -hmm. you know, and he's a great director. He's not perfect. He's far from perfect. Um, but I usually enjoy what he does. You know, mm -hmm. he's, he's very visually fun and, uh, you know, he, he just, he really needs a tight writer and a tight editor to make his stuff really shine. Yeah, didn't he leave um, though because his daughter died, and so other people got a hold his, of his, his stuff? His his daughter committed suicide, I believe. Uh, so yeah, so it's a big tragedy, and they gave they gave the whole movie to um, Firefly. What's his name? Oh, Josh Whedon. Um, Josh Whedon, and Josh Whedon. Oh, that did, explains it. Yeah. Did the Marvel movies? He did the Avengers, mm -hmm. and that's what that's what they were going for. That's what they wanted to add to it. Um, so it wasn't like they saw what he did and they wanted to change it. I mean, he kind of, you know, he had to go, he had to leave, um, family first, uh, and and sort of like DC was like, okay, what do we do? Well. You know, Josh did wonders for Marvel movies. Let's put him on this. Yeah, so, but just because he's you know. good at Marvel movies doesn't mean he'll be great at DC movies. Because kind of like we said, it's supposed but, to be kind of on the more darker side. Or was D for detective or D for dark? It was detective comics, DC. Okay, detective. I first, oh, Dark Horse. I'm thinking of Dark Horse. <laughs> Um, oh, Margo is <laughs> warning you uh, about the, uh -oh. or not Margo, but Tal, Talfer is warning you about the later season of Vikings. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I, I, only, I only just finished um, two seasons, so yeah, I'll I get around to it. Two and, too. You know, it's like, yeah, he says, beware of later seasons. Um, oh, Donut was saying uh, over 3 million signed a petition against uh, Herbie Mira. Man, I mean, I, I, I thought she did an excellent job as the character. I could understand a petition. I don't, I don't let my feelings about a 
person, an actor, an actress get in the way of me enjoying a movie? Like, unless they murdered babies or something, like, you know. <laughs> Like, kind of the same, like um, J.K. Rowling and like Michael Jackson and other things. It's like I appreciate their works. I can't blame the works for the bad people that turned out to be their creators. It's kind of a hit or miss. Yeah, like, do I like, support them or not? Like, it's I might, kind of a weird gray area. I might, I might stop supporting them, but I, I still love what I love previously like mm -hmm. you know like I, I think that was the case with michael jackson it's like once things got really weird with news on him and stuff it's like i didn't really necessarily listen to him as much but mm -hmm. i still appreciate all the years that i did love his work you know mm -hmm. so it's kind of like that i don't i don't read anything by jk anymore you know, I don't really know whatever is going on with her, but I do know, like, you know, it's not as positive. Yeah, kind of as, the same. Yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't seen the new Dumbledore movie or um, read the new books or anything. Because I'm yeah. like, you I'm, I'm or don't I? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, like, I, I just don't want to be part of the whole like canceling everything because of this or that. It's like I enjoy art. Like, you know, movies are art. Music is art. Art is art. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't want to know. Personally, I don't want to know about the person. Like, if it's going to ruin my parents. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, I just. I'm not going to pay attention to stuff like that. It's, uh, but then it's like, people are like, why are you supporting them? Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, ooh, like gray area. <laughs> yeah. I mean, life is a gray area, right? And it's like, mm -hmm. you know, if people knew about me in real life, they'd probably be bored out of their mind. Um, <laughs> Same. Like, I am such a hermit lately. Yeah, it's like it's Please enjoy I don't know, my but work, I, but you know. Yeah, I liked the pandemic. Like, I hate to say that, but the pandemic was a great excuse for me not going out. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's like, I, like I could use it as an excuse. No, I'm not going out because I can't bring anything home for my dad. When it's like, no, actually, I really just don't want to go hang out with you. <laughs> so that's why we haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to get better. I, you know, I really do need to get better. I I I definitely become more of a homebody. I don't call it hermit. It's like I'm a homebody. Like, you know, I enjoy going out. I enjoy walking and, and go hang out with other people and whatnot. And but you know, it's like, I mean, mm -hmm. maybe if I was a millionaire, I would be traveling all the time, but <laughs> otherwise, you know, everything I have is at home, right? That's what mm -hmm. you make a home livable and lovable. Yeah. So my kitty, my like, kitties are my friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all my friends from like childhood and stuff, um, they just like drama and complaining about their lives and they have kids. Uh, um, yeah. And it's like, all topics that I'm really not interested in. And yeah. so it's like, do I just sit there and look bored when they're trying to tell me something? Or <laughs> like, do I try to like, oh, I I'm sorry. Like, I really can't go. But it's like, it's just so hard. Yeah. But man. Yeah. Wow. We've been going for like 98 minutes. Yeah. So yeah, we can we can end it. Um, you know, I, I was working on this piece. I got a little more done. Mm -hmm. I got to really get this this week. Um, and what your work arm looks good. I'm gonna do a close up on yours. 
Uh, you can follow Doc and Mar, who is my lovely guest today on Instagram. Her link for her Instagram is down below. Uh, there you can find her YouTube link. Any other places you want people to go? Um, no, that's pretty much it. I tried dabbling in TikTok a little bit, so you can find me there. I'm just pretty much reposting um, just fast speed draws of my images or my drawings. Um, but if on any social media, just look up Dark and Mar, and that's me. So far, no one else has done that or taken my name. So <laughs> uh, I should be that's pretty easy to find. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah but it's like feel free to drop by and say hi um i do need to start visiting people more um i i really need to sit down and debate if i am going to start live streaming because it probably would be a good motivator to just sit down and get stuff done yeah uh, you I'm know I, I i always point I always point there's a Korean kid who is a YouTuber and all he does is stream himself doing homework and studying. And he doesn't talk. He just, he's either reading books or, or reading something off his computer screen or, you know, writing an essay or whatever, like he's doing oh. homework. Uh, and, and, he has over a million subscribers. It's insane. I, I don't know what his name is, and, and I haven't seen him in a long time. But uh, huh. you know, like there, there's poss possibilities are endless. And like, yes, it is encouraging to work more if you have actual people that are interested in watching. You know, like, and you're mm -hmm. always welcome to come back here. You know, I'm, I'm gonna try at least for uh you know next month over the next month to stream more um and yeah it's like for right now it's completely random what time i do it though mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah just um like drop me a reminder or something and i'll try and like yeah pop in and see you because yeah with you being two hours ahead of me or yeah you're two hours ahead of yeah. me um if I see like six o'clock, I'm like, oh, okay, six o'clock my time, and you've been done an hour. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I gotta remember he's East Coast. Yes, um, East Coast time. I'm, I'm like, I'm 20 minutes away by car to Central Time, but you know, so close to Central Time <laughs> Zone, but. I'm still I'm still New York time, which is good. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we just had like a United States time? Yeah. The, like everyone was just the same time. Bye, Toffler. Yeah, thanks for everybody coming. Thanks for all the conversation and everybody in the mm -hmm. chat say hello to us and each other and Hope everybody gave the video a like and everybody here is probably subscribed. Um, but yeah, hope everybody has a great, great day and let me end this bad boy.